Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our shoulders and our biceps. I tried to get a lot of volume done today because I had time on my hands. So I'm going to start off with the usual, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, continued by the deep squat on a regular basis. Now if you do have any kind of shoulder restrictions, in my last video I have shown you one of the shoulder mobility drills which you can do i have done other kinds of shoulder mobility drills also in my previous video so you can definitely try that out or try those out in case if you feel any kind of tightness in your shoulders now after completing my deep squat we move on to our first exercise which would be rare delt raises with dumbbells so the setup is pretty simple i have done this previously also you set yourself up on an incline bench facing downwards chest on the incline bench chin tucked in you want your chin to be tucked in so that your upper traps and your mid traps are least bit involved in this particular exercise the advantage of this exercise is that you can take really heavy weights if you have straps or gloves use them to grip onto the weights and you just need to swing them as far behind as possible now your ray delts will do the majority of the work in trying to get your arms behind your body so always swing the dumbbells as far behind as possible from your hips and behind now as they swing forward it's absolutely all right if they swing forward let them swing and then from there pull them back as strongly as possible you should start feeling the contractions or the tightness happening in your ray delts now i've done three sets of these with 20 repetitions Remember, as heavy weight as possible to achieve those 20 repetitions. If you go too heavy, you wouldn't be able to bring those dumbbells at least till your hip level. So the objective is to get them as close to hip or even beyond your hips. And 20 rep repetitions should be challenging. For my next exercise, I'm going to jump on to my bicep muscle. So we are going to do the regular starter for our bicep muscle, which is the high cable curls. Three sets, 20 repetitions each hand now when you're switching from one arm to the other please don't take a break you may take 30 to 45 seconds break when you are completed both your arms so that would be one entire set 20 repetitions on each arm in this particular exercise make sure you set the cable as high as possible and then move your body away from your bicep or the shoulder joint as you can see as the cable and my body are not in line i am facing away from the cable so this puts an extra bit of stretch on my bicep muscle as i move my chest away from my shoulder joint curl as tightly as possible and try to get those 20 repetitions now if you are unable to reach those 20 repetition mark and fail before that in your second or third set just switch your arm and try to complete those 20 repetitions for my next exercise i'm going to do the barbell ray delt races again exercise which we have been doing till now so nothing new simply take a barbell hold it behind your back bend down a little bit and start pushing the barbell above your hips this particular exercise focuses a lot on your ray delts you will tend to fail quicker than usual because our ray delts have already done enough amount of work in the first exercise which you have done so we do a two set 15 plus pause repetition style workout wherein we do 15 repetitions take a few seconds of break then do five repetitions then again five repetitions and again five repetitions in that manner we accumulate another 20 repetitions so a total of 35 repetitions in each set if you are not able to push the barbell high above your hips it's absolutely fine that means you're closing to failure and that is something which is good that means we have done enough good work for muscle growth post completing this exercise i moved on to my calf races standing calf races now the advantages of mixing up the workouts a little bit in terms of your body parts is that you need not take much of a rest in between exercises because that particular muscle has not hit fatigue so you can switch from one exercise to the other pretty quickly the only thing is about how much you are out of breath once you catch your breath, you can immediately start on to the next exercise which are without much compromise in regards to your muscle fatigue. 
So standing calf raise is pretty simple. I'm doing it on a Smith machine because I don't have that equipment. Only few gyms have a standing calf raise machine or you can do it by holding a couple of dumbbells also. Three sets, each set 30 repetitions. Make sure you go through the entire range of motion as slowly as possible. Take 45 to 60 seconds break in between because your calf muscles will get tight as you complete your 30 repetition mark. You have to have to push yourself to achieve those 30 repetitions to get as much blood flowing into your calf muscles as possible. After those, I moved on to my front delts. Again, shoulder work. You can see how I'm doing it here. I'm holding the barbell with my elbows bent. I keep my elbows bent throughout the exercise. And from there, I raise the barbell high above my head. Please do it in this particular manner because I feel this is more effective than doing a regular front raise. Keeping your elbows bent gives you that extra bit of stretch as you go down. And that would, as I mentioned multiple times before, working out a muscle in its stretched position gives or stimulates more growth. So that is the reason why I keep my elbows bent a little bit because as I go down, I can create a little bit of extra stretch on my front delt and as I raise it up, create that maximum contraction. Three sets, 20 repetitions. You can take 45 to 60 seconds break in between. While doing this particular exercise, you might also feel your rear delt getting a little bit activated and that's absolutely fine. That's thanks to the first two exercises which we have done. For my next exercise, I'm going to do the reverse grip barbell curls, three sets, 20 repetitions again, 45 seconds break in between. Since we switched from shoulder to barbell, uh, sorry, shoulder to biceps, again, need not take much of a long break because our muscles have had enough rest to recover. Make sure you use straps or gloves if you do have because they help you in terms of holding on to the weight so you don't get tired quickly and you can achieve all your repetitions. The grip is not our primary objective here. The primary objective is to work that bicep brachii muscle. So that is how we are going to achieve our repetitions even while lifting a heavy weight. Make sure you try to achieve those 20 repetition mark as much as possible because as you can see, I was getting tired in between. So I was using the pause technique to take a couple of seconds in between and get those 20 repetitions in. You can also do it in the pause repetition style if you feel to do so. After completing my reverse grip curls, I moved on to overhead press. For overhead press, simply set yourself on an inclined bench. Put the bench as straight as possible, just one increment less. Rest your head on it. Place your palms basically on a, uh, not a neutral grip actually, on a regular grip as if you're going to do a bicep curl and then start pushing the dumbbell overhead. Go through the movement as slowly as possible. As you can see, I keep the lowering down motion or the range of motion as slow as possible, feeling those contractions. And then as I push up, I use my entire strength or as strongly as possible. Now you want to do at least 15 repetitions, three sets of these. Here you can see my wrist position, slightly supernated, slightly bicep activated position, elbows close to our body, not flared out. So the focus is entirely or majorly on my front delt, slightly on my side delts. I'm not pushing too straight high because I don't want my triceps to get much involved in the motion. So as I go up and there's a slight bend in my elbow, I start coming down again. After completing these, we move on to our next exercise, which is cable la lateral raises now for cable lateral raises i'm doing both my hands together because it's easier or quicker way to do it if you do one arm at a time it's absolutely fine but it might take a little bit longer time 20 repetitions three sets of these again go as low as possible as you're lowering the weight down or the cables you're letting the cables come down go as slow as possible feel the weight or the load on your delts especially your lateral delts or the side delts your front delt and your rear delt also will fire up a lot because we have already worked them out so much in our previous exercises they will start firing up also but otherwise you need not worry if you feel your trap muscles upper trap or mid traps kicking in a little bit you can always tuck your chin in and 
keep doing on the repetitions here you can see from behind how it looks i always prefer to take the cables behind my back because somehow i feel they create an extra bit of stretch on my front and lateral delts you can also do it keeping the cables in front of you that shouldn't be much of a difference but i prefer doing it with the cables behind my back in a crisscross manner after completing my cable lateral races i moved on to regular grip bubble curls for regular grip bubble curls again we are going to do 20 repetitions three sets now your muscle both your shoulders and your biceps will be very close to failure or fatigue so here you want to take a weight which challenges you enough but not so much that you're not able to achieve your 20 repetitions and if you do feel like you're getting tired before completing your 20 repetitions make sure you use the pause technique wherein you don't put the weight down just pause for a few seconds and try to complete those repetitions now when doing a bubble curl i prefer doing it with a straight bar somehow i feel a better connection with the straight bar you might feel if you do feel a little bit of discomfort in your wrist you can always use an easy bar to do the curls now easy bar would be a little bit easier on your wrist joint but i am okay with a straight bar if you're okay with a straight bar go ahead and do it with a straight bar just make sure you always go to the full range of motion get your elbows completely down maybe activate your triceps a little bit as you go down and then come back up for the curl after my regular curls i moved on to around the world on an inclined bench here as you can see in the video i need not explain it's like you're swimming in the on an inclined bench you're kind of doing a butterfly stroke in the air with couple of dumbbells in your arms so set yourself on an inclined bench and start doing these your shoulders will be on fire so try to get more than 10 repetitions but 10 repetitions should be your target for three times a lightweight five kilo dumbbell should do fine after these to finish off our bicep work i have done two sets 20 repetitions each arm of an inclined bench preacher curl a little bit um, i would say optional because by now your bicep should be pretty tired but since i mentioned in the beginning of the video i had a little bit of time so i wanted to get as much volume as possible into the, both the muscles so i added this bit of exercise also to finish off as you can see when you're setting up yourself on this inclined bench again rotate your body away from your bicep keep your chest facing the other way so that it creates a slight amount of stretch in between your shoulder and your sorry in the shoulder joint and also stretches out your bicep so position yourself with your chest away from your bicep do the repetitions as slowly as possible try to control the weight as much as possible and remember always choose a weight where you can achieve those 20 repetitions in a challenging manner and that would be our last exercise we are going to finish off with a vertical hang a simple vertical hang to just decompress our shoulders a little bit stretch out our biceps again thank you so much for joining me if you did like the workout and like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback you have please drop a comment and i will respond to it or incorporate it in my videos thank you again for joining keep watching the videos i hope they're helping you and the next video will be up soon i'll see you